friends welcome to technique this is normal here and in this video we're gonna do a detailed comparison of two gaming centric smartphones the asus rog phone 2 and the black shark 2 so these two devices are available right now in india and both of them are priced below the 40k pricing in india so let's uh, compare these two devices and see which is a better gaming device and which is uh, the better overall smartphone and also the value for money device considering that both of them are powerful hardware powerful cameras, uh, great battery life and uh, also great performance. So let's get started with a detailed comparison. So right now the ROG Phone uh, 2 is priced at 37 for the 8GB RAM variant while we have 39 for the 6GB RAM variant of the ROG, I mean uh, the Black Shark 2. So there is already price difference and uh, there are lots of additional features also offered on both the phones. So let's analyze all these aspects. Now first step, let's have a look at the design and build quality. Now looking at the design, you can see that uh, the ROG Phone 2 is a lot uh, taller than the Black Shark 2. Uh, because of the screen size, we have uh, a smaller screen size on the Black Shark 2. It's a 6.39 inches, while it's uh, 6.59 inches and also the bezels on the top is slightly on the higher side on the ROG Phone. But then uh, the uh, design looks quite good on both the phones. Both have the front facing uh, dual speakers. Now uh, both uh, look really great even the uh, even on the back panel as well. You can see that aluminium uh, chassis is uh, the one uh, which is on the Black Shark 2 while we have glass and aluminium uh, finishing. Now both look really premium and uh, looks uh, terrific in terms of the gaming aspects as well. We have the uh, heat uh, vents uh, on the ROG Phone 2 and uh, both have this uh, logo uh, lit logo we have rgb lighting for the uh, rog phone 2 here also we have the shark logo in uh, color and we also have the lighting on the sides uh, on uh, the uh, the black shark 2 so design wise both look really uh, sophisticated and uh, gaming centric but uh, here our personal choice would be the rog phone 2 which looks uh, really stylish again uh, this, uh, this is subjective design is pretty subjective but then we feel uh, rog phone 2 looks slightly better than the black shark 2 black shark 2 definitely has an advantage that it's it's a bit more compact device because at 201 grams it's uh, 205 rather it's uh, it's lighter than uh, the rog phone 2 which is 240 grams in weight and it's also taller and uh, heavier as well so that's the design aspect of these two phones now let's talk about the uh, display so this is an, an area where these two devices really excel both have amoled uh, displays one we have 6.59 inches uh, display on uh, the uh, rog phone 2 with a dci p3 108 percentage with hdr10 and 120 hertz uh, refresh rate and 240 hertz uh, touch sensing and corning gorilla glass 6. Now on the Black Shark 2, we have a 6.39 inches AMOLED display, DC, uh, DC IP3 100% and uh, always on display and 240 Hz touch sensing is there. But the advantage with the ROG Phone 2 is that it has 120 Hz refresh rate. That's something which, which is really good. And that actually shows up in the display quality. You can see that even though both are AMOLED panels, uh, the experience of using the display is definitely better on the ROG Phone 2 because of the 120 Hz refresh rate. So that's something which is really good on the ROG Phone 2. But having said that, the Black Shark 2 is also a really good phone in the price segment. Now talking about the software. Now both the phones have uh, stock-like UI. You can see that uh, uh, even though both are stock-like uh, UI, neither of them are uh, having uh, Android uh, one platform, but both of them offer stock-like experience. So you can see that uh, while ASUS has done a bit of customizations here, you can see that uh, there is some additional features being offered on uh, the ROG Phone 2, uh, including if you look at the advanced uh, features, you can see that uh, Twin App, Safeguard, OptiFlex, Screen Recorders, uh, Air Triggers are some of the options available. Now, uh, uh, on the, the Black Shark 2, it's more or less uh, like stock Android. Uh, additional options include light customization. So you have the lights on either side of the device and also on the back. Now, uh, ROG Phone 2 also offers those options. Now, software-wise, uh, we feel uh, both are equally good. Both uh, offers stock-like experience. So, uh, if you like a bit more uh, features, uh, then ROG Phone 2 definitely offers that. But uh, both have a pretty good stock-like experience. Now, talking about the performance. So this is one area where uh, both are really powerful. We have the Snapdragon 855 Plus chipset with uh, which is clocked at 2.96 uh, gigahertz, and uh, this is one of the really powerful chipsets out there. And this is coupled with 8 gigabyte RAM. Now, on the other hand, uh, the RO, uh, the Black Shark 2 is powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855. It is slightly uh, clocked lower at 2.87 gigahertz. 
and this has 6 GB RAM and 128 GB storage being offered. Now performance wise uh, both are equally powerful and in day to day experience uh, uh, both are butter smooth experience no lags whatsoever and uh, obviously uh, both does a really good job because they are powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset. Now let's go to the gaming aspect. So first let's talk about the gaming aspect on the ROG Phone 2. So ROG Phone 2 has this, uh, uh, um, this great feature so we'll just open that. So this is the gaming lobby and uh, you can see that. Uh, there are lots of options here and uh, if you go to the console you can see that uh, you can uh, uh, enable gaming genie air triggers are there that's something which is really really good on this device so we have air triggers and you can go to the x mode so just pressing here and uh, you can go to the x mode so you can also turn on the x mode from here there is an x mode so you can see this is the x mode and uh, you get the system lighting fan speed customization then uh, you can also manage the air triggers and uh, see the uh, the memory used uh, and uh, the CPU uh, clock speed everything GPU also you can see then uh, system lighting aura lighting you can customize so these are things available uh, in the ROG uh, UI so this is uh, the uh, the UI available and you can add games to this uh, so gaming profiles can also be said you can see that this game uh, for example asphalt 9 you can uh, see the touch sensitivity uh, display performance refresh rate can be set uh, uh, you can go up to uh, 120 hertz i mean the hertz and uh, touch sensitivity can also be adjusted performance uh, you can see that uh, uh, you can there is an x mode available you can just enable the x mode and power consumption will be higher hardcore tuning you can do that 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 power consumption will be still higher then there is temperature control memory cleaner all these things can be done then audio output you can uh, enable it then network also you can see prevent switching of network restrict background data uh, background sync rather so these things can be controlled that means you get the best experience in terms of gaming and uh, you also have this uh, uh, features here so we have uh, vapor cooling uh, and heat sink uh, then uh, you have this uh, vents wherein uh, you the the heat gets dissipated that's what uh, uh, this does so this is something which is really sophisticated and does a really good job so uh, ROG phone 2 does offer uh, a plethora of modes and uh, one of the best aspects about the gaming on ROG phone 2 is the air trigger so we have already talked about uh, air triggers on this device we have done a detailed gaming video of this so you can check out the gaming video to get an idea about uh, uh, how good the uh, experience is on the ROG phone 2 it's one of the uh, really best gaming smartphones below the 40k price segment with a uh, super performance and the audio output is something which is stellar with a uh, dual uh, front firing speakers uh, and outdoor mode included this offers great overall experience that's the armory crate and how you can customize it now let's talk about uh, uh, the uh, black shark 2 features so black shark 2 also has this kind of option so we'll just take that uh, so if you go to the uh, instead uh, there is no direct option to uh, enable this if you just go to the PUBG mobile we'll just open this and show you so you can just uh, pull down from here and uh, you can uh, see that master touch gamepad you can enable then no notification you can enable uh, then uh, more options are there uh, you can uh, see that uh, memory cleaner ram manager uh, then settings you can uh, do additional options also floating window management so these are some options uh, then uh, we'll just show you other options as well then if you go here you can see that the performance mode then this is one area where you can set the performance instead of auto performance you can have this uh, ludicrous mode uh, wherein you get the best uh, uh, performance aspects you can see the GPU uh, CPU performance and everything can be uh, uh, got on the ludicrous mode this is uh, uh, the the probably the uh, the uh, mode where you get the best performance uh, and then there is also display you can uh, enable HDR uh, display then touch sensitivity can also be enabled you can uh, configure them then audio you can have a custom surround sound uh, speaker sound then network you can uh, enable the background uh, traffic limit and options so multi experience uh, then uh, you can uh, enable all these things uh, from here so this is one area where you can uh, set uh, this option so if you go here uh, this is the uh, you can set the level level 1 performance level 2 performance level 4 performance uh, I mean, in fact level 3 is also there level 4 and uh, this is the ludicrous mode 
uh, where you get the ultimate performance so both are really great uh, smartphones in terms of the gaming abilities but here we would say uh, the ROG phone 2 does better because couple of things uh, one is the air triggers which helps you in a great gaming overall then secondly uh, uh, this has uh, uh, better uh, uh, processor and also uh, more modes and features being offered that's another important aspect and uh, the display size is also bigger and you also get 120 hertz refresh rate that uh, combined makes uh, the ROG phone to the better gaming experience so uh, we have done a detailed gaming review of both the phones uh, you can check out those uh, videos to see how the experience is so uh, we'll uh, share the links in the description of this video you can also have a look at uh, the gaming videos now both the phones have in display fingerprint scanner and uh, neither of them are really stellar in terms of performance but uh, they do uh, the task pretty well uh, in display fingerprint scanner and both of them have the face unlock functionality as well. Another feature of the ROG phone 2 is that you get a charging slot the USB type C port on the side when you are gaming so you don't uh, have to use this port. Uh, there is also another second port uh, at the bottom while uh, you get a single port on the uh, black shark 2 and uh, there is 3.5 mm audio jack available on uh, uh, the rog phone 2 which is again an added feature while we have uh, uh, the uh, there is no uh, 3.5 mm audio jack you have to use uh, via this support so that's again an added feature for the rog phone 2 now next uh, let's move on to the cameras so we have a uh, dual camera setup on both the phones uh, we have uh, the primary 48 megapixel sony imx 580 sensor on both the devices now secondary cameras we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera on uh, uh, the um, ROG phone 2 while we have a, a 12 megapixel telephoto lens on the uh, black shark 2 so both have different purpose one is ultra wide one is telephoto lens so you can choose based on what is important for you we would say ultra wide makes uh, slightly better sense uh, now talking about the uh, camera experience so here we say that both the devices does a pretty good job neither of them are camera centric smartphones but they do a pretty good job here we would say uh, uh, the quality offered by the asus rog phone 2 was a tad better than the black shark 2 but black shark 2 also does a decent job altogether now the selfie camera is uh, a 24 megapixel shooter on the rog phone 2 while it's a 20 megapixel uh, uh, shooter on the black shark 2 so here are some selfies as well we are taken so overall we feel cameras are quite good on both the phones but our pick probably would be the rog phone 2 Now next finally moving on to the battery life. So we have uh, a large 6000 mAh capacity battery with 30 watt fast charging supported on the ROG phone 2 while we have 4000 mAh capacity battery with 27 watt fast charging supported on the Black Shark 2. Now uh, both the devices offer only 18 watt uh, charger uh, in build or rather in the box and you can uh, buy third party chargers uh, and uh, charge it. Now uh, uh, we have uh, tried uh, charging both the devices with the 27 watt uh, Xiaomi's charger. So both works uh, uh, on uh, these, the, both of them did charge uh, pretty fast with the 27 watt charger. Now the battery performance is definitely better on the ROG phone too because it has uh, a 6000 mAh capacity battery which gets you almost like 8 hours of screen on time. Uh, eight and a half hours of screen on time while uh, the, uh, the Black Shark 2 gets you around uh, five, six hours uh, on an average. That's quite good for a gaming smartphone, but ROG phone uh, definitely beats them, beats uh, the Black Shark 2 by a big margin because of the almost like a one third capacity higher on uh, uh, the ROG phone 2. So that was the detailed uh, comparison of these two devices. So which is the better device to buy here? Now ROG phone 2 is priced 37 right now but uh, the, uh, that, uh, that is for the 8GB RAM variant and 128GB storage. Now there is also another variant which has uh, higher specification but we are not going into that uh, for the ROG phone 2. Now the Black Shark 2 is priced 39 for the 6GB RAM and 128GB storage but having said that during the Flipkart uh, big billion days it's uh, getting uh, sold for 29 that's almost 8k cheaper than the ROG phone 2. So at that pricing the Black Shark 2 makes really good sense because you get a, a really good gaming smartphone for 30k price segment uh, but then uh, ROG phone 2 at 38k offers you air triggers bigger battery bigger 
uh, display 120 hertz refresh rate and a whole lot of options uh, included so if you're on a tight budget in gaming then go for the uh, the black shark 2 at 29 triple nine but uh, once you once the sale is over probably the pricing might come down come to 39 triple nine for that pricing we would definitely say the rog phone 2 makes much better sense at 38k you get a whole lot of features than the black shark 2 even at 29 triple nine we feel uh, if you're on a tight budget go with the black shark 2 otherwise uh, we would uh, if you're into hardcore gaming we would still suggest to go with the ROG Phone 2. So that was a detailed uh, comparison of the ROG Phone 2 with the Black Shark 2. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.